Louise Lucas. So Obviously, you're a rock star here. <laughs> Tell us what you're going to do. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> you started my whole introduction. <laughs> and thank you so much. And America is the place that they say you can be whatever you want to be. I hope to be hosting the retirement party of Virginia State Senator. I got the poem that I decided to write because this says exactly what's going on in my district. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm going to change it up since I have five minutes. But it's so good to make sure you know. The real heartbreak in Portsmouth and for so many of y'all over this country is when someone gets close to you to the point that you know it shouldn't happen. The heartbreak for our healed hearts is losing the love that's been through thick and thin. You know they did what they shouldn't have with you. It's love lost, but not lost love. The hate is toxicity. The toxicity is Biden. The toxicity is Democrats. The toxicity is those who try to separate us and divide us. The toxicity are those who try to teach our kids how to be monsters instead of angels. Now, they say the black community believing to be Democrat is toxicity. Any and all communities, regardless of what you look like, that believe this country is being ran right, that's called toxicity. So, what are we going through is the toxicity that continues to be accepted as normal. This is Stockholm Syndrome by these politicians. It's easy to keep going back to your abuser. It's time to close out that relationship. No one is that dumb and ignorant in destroying this country or our unity. This is intentional. This is their games that they play. We are united against their America. Let's take back our America. Yeah. An abuser wants to keep you down. An abuser wants to make you dependent on them. An abuser wants to force you to take drugs like vaccines against your will. Your abuser will have you give up your friends and family. An abuser will. Your abuser wants to control everything about your life. Your abuser calls your name like the dredge of society. And who are they to judge? Your abuser holding back our future. Your family is still your family. Who you love is still who you love. My love doesn't have to be the same. We don't have to agree, but we should agree that you have the right to live your life free. Not to enslave by a character, a freedom that your God gives you by taking it away from us. You can continue to be abused or put up a fight for your life or for your death. Our abusers want our death to depart. There is no such thing as love for any poisonous tree that bears fruit. The Republican Party now represents a light that says we will no longer be abused. We will put up that fight every day. So this government abuse doesn't have another date. We've been dealing with the abuse of Democrats and Luis Lucas for long enough. There's not going to be another day where we look at each other for the color of our skin and say one's superior, one's oppressed, or whatever. We all have our life story. That's not going to change because some politician tells you to be something that you're not. No politician can tell you that hate. No politician can tell you who to love. No politician can tell you who to worship because I continue to put my God first. 
See, people want a champion. They want somebody to give them hope. They want them to know it's going to be a better day. Not saying worse and worse, build back better, became build back worse, and look at us now. Amen. See, what I see across this room right now is those who still have that fight. Those who are willing to live on their feet and not on their knees. It doesn't matter how old you are. It matters about what you believe in from the heart and soul. I'm one of the speakers who always speaks from the heart and the soul. That's how I'm raised. That's how our ancestors was raised. Whether you are white, black, this man of Puerto Rican, your tradition is your tradition, and I'm going to fight for your tradition and not let a government dictate how you love one another, how you raise your family, and how you get to the promise. That Martin Luther King Jr. believed in. So many of you that look like you, your neighbors, your friends, they are depending on you right now. They are depending on the Republican Party. They are depending on those to give out that wisdom because they are yelling for it. This is a district that is setting the tone all across this nation that we no longer believe in Democrats to represent the poor or Republicans to represent the rich. We are here to represent everybody and make sure our kids use their common sense, not the ignorance run those schools. Yes, amen. See, I still got it. I may not return because I can't tolerate it anymore. Going to a grocery store, going to a 7-Eleven, seeing the homeless, Seeing people who used to smile going to the park or just wanted to take a midnight stroll to the beach without being harassed without the government bleeding them dry. We are going to get America back. We are going to remind America that this isn't a time where we give up. This isn't a time where we comply. When they tried to take our guns, what did we do? Over our cold dead hands and what I'm going to say or taking our children over our cold days. Right. They represent our future. Each and every one, you see how friend you walk down the street and you see kids playing. Remember now they're worrying about being shot at the playground. Yep. They're worried about how mama and daddy is going to put food on the table. They're worried about how they could not sleep without waking up to another bully and a teacher saying, there's nothing we can't do, just deal with it. And they don't even have to go home. They, all they have to do is just wake up. Now I want my kids waking up smiling. I want us all remembering those good old times that really brought us together. It wasn't CRT. It was us getting to know each other, our experience. I love our uh, Even those time friends where there was, we found a way to overcome and persevere. That's what we need to do for this country. This is what we need to do for America. We need to do it for this district, but we need to make sure people know it's not wrong or evil to be a Republican. It's not wrong or evil to be a conservative. That's the answer. That's the answer. Because God has always been our answer. Our values have always been our answer. Government intrusion has been the problem. They have overreached too far to the point where you have to take a jab in order to go to work. They have overreached too far where they had to put a mask on you so that they can hide your children's face and your face. Some didn't comply. But I'm telling you right now, to this day, we will never, ever, ever, if I become your next Virginia State Senator, I guarantee you this, your children are going to be treated just like our 
actually my children. Your family's gonna become my family. It already is. That's exactly what the Republican Party was about. Family values. These Marxists are the ones who's trying to break it down. And Louise Lucas is happy to be with them. See, Louise Lucas is part of the problem. That's cutting the hair from the snake. But we need to make sure we go deeper into the problem. What's behind all of that mascara and phony wigs? I call it the way I see it. But I'm going to tell you, I guarantee you, I'm going to use my last breath, my last measure of devotion. Regardless, tomorrow's not promised, people. It's not. We know that all too well. I guarantee you, I'm going to bring this district together, whether you're Republican, Democrat, or Independent. I'm going to give out a message that God told me to send. And I'm going to make sure I yell it from the deepest of my lungs. God bless America and everybody in it. Thank you. Well, this is going to be quite a change for uh, our senator. And, uh, and we're going to all be a lot uh, more happy and blessed. You know, um, 